In this video, you are going to create realistic 3D world with the help of Google Maps and Cesium plugin in Unreal Engine without using your credit card. So without any delay, let's jump into Unreal Engine. To install Cesium, you need to go to Marketplace, then go to Free. Click on the free icon here. Then you need to search for tags and just search for Cesium and press enter here. You will find three marketplace content here. Here you need to have Cesium for Unreal Engine. As you guys can see, you cannot see it here because I have already owned it. But you just need to search for Cesium and it would be available here. Cesium for Unreal. Just click on add to cart and just check out with free account here. Then you need to go to your library here. Then just search for Cesium in your vault. And as soon as you do that, you will find Cesium for Unreal Engine here. Then you just need to click to install to engine. And you just need to have your 5.4 or 5.3, whichever you are going to use. Select your latest version or the version you want to install Cesium for. And just click on install. Then create a new scene here. As soon as you do that, you will find your Cesium in the plugin menu. So let me show you that also. You just need to go to edit, just need to go to plugins and just search here for Cesium. But in order to use Cesium, as I showed you, you need to install it to engine first. Just click here and restart your engine and you would be ready to use Cesium in your project. So let me restart now. Now my engine is restarted and as you guys can see here, you can see we have now a new tab called Cesium. Now, there are two methods to load the Google data into your Unreal Engine with the help of Cesium. Either you can do with the API key which Google provides but it takes a credit card and a free account to register. But I am going to show you a method which is now available here and you don't need any credit card account or anything like that to use it with your Google data. Okay, so you just need to connect to your Cesium Ion account. So just click on connect to Cesium Ion. Okay, a new tab will appear as you guys can see here. Then you need to log in with your Epic account. Okay, if you don't log in with your Epic account, it will be paid. So just make sure that you sign in with your Epic account. And as soon as you do that, your Cesium will be ready to use without any credit card. Okay, now you can see it's showing my name. And it is saying Cesium for Unreal is requesting the following permission. So just allow it here. So you will be having some tokens to use the Cesium plugin. It's showing now successfully authorized. You can cl now close this window. So just close the window. And now you can see we are now having this Cesium OSM building Google photorealistic 3D tiles. So before Cesium 2.0, you need to have the Google API keys and a credit card to use that. But now it is not necessary at all. So now we are going to click on this Google photorealistic 3D tiles. But before doing that, we are going to create a new level here. So let's just create an empty level. Now let's just click on the Google photorealistic 3D tile icon and just click on this plus icon here. It will ask you to use the token. So just click on the default token or the Cesium project created by Cesium for Unreal Engine, whichever you want. Okay, I will use the default token and I will just create new project default token. Okay, it will take some while uh, depending on your internet connection and it will be ready to use. And now you can see we are having this data here. This is looking really good. You can see we are having this terrain here. Okay, we can change the location and all that stuff. We are going to see that how you can do that also. Now you can see we, we can basically move inside. So let me just increase my camera speed. And now you can see we can move also. Okay, we are going to increase the quality also. So wait till then. Now the second thing I want is to add the sun and sky. So there are again two options that you can use. You can use the by default cesium sun and sky or you can use the sun and sky which is provided by Unreal Engine. Let's first use this. Then we are going to use our sun and sky which is provided by Unreal Engine. So let's just click here. And as soon as you do that, it will take a while to adjust the automatic exposure. And now you can see we are having this sun and sky here. Now, let's say you want certain data from Google map to be visible here. Now, before doing that, let me tell you that if the Google data is available in 3D of that portion of the map, 
then only it is going to show in 3D or else you will see a 2D flat plane. So let me show you what I'm telling. Now here you need to basically go to Google Maps. So let's just go to Google Maps here. Okay, then you need to go to map. Now you need to add the coordinate. So for that you need to search here. So let's just search for let's say Paris. Okay, let's just press enter. And now you can see we are getting this Paris map. Now let's say you want a Eiffel Tower map to be loaded here. Okay, you can see it's available in 3D. You can see how it is looking. Okay, then what you need to do, you need to right click and you need to get the directions here. So let's just get the directions here. Okay, I am going to paste it here. So what you need to do, you need to copy the longitude and the latitude. So let's just copy this. Okay, then let's just go to our cesium geo reference. And here if you scroll downwards, you will find the latitude and the longitude. So let's just paste the latitude here and press enter. And now you can see it's building the data. Same way we are going to do for longitude also. So let's just do that for longitude. So let's just control C and let's just control V here in our longitude. Okay. And if I press enter, it will take some time to load the 3D data. And now you can see we are having this whole Paris map here. Now you will be like, okay, this is looking 2D, but you need to basically zoom in and zoom out. So let's just do that. Let's just increase the camera speed here. And now you can see we are getting this data here of Paris. See, okay. So this is how easy it is to load data into Google Maps. Okay, with the help of Google Maps. Now you can see there, it is not that much realistic here. Okay, and you can see there are some black patches here and there. Okay, it totally depends on the net and the resolution you are going for. I am currently set to cinematics here. Okay, if you are not, then you can go to engine scalability and just set it to cinematics here. Okay, let's just create a new camera here. But before doing that, let me show you what I am telling of 2D tiles also. So let's just take a data which is not available in Google 3D. So let's just go here. Okay, now we are getting this locations here. Okay, let's just paste it here. So if I copy this now, okay, and if I paste it here, and if I go here, and if I get the latitude also, longitude also, and if I press here, now you can see it's a black color. So that means it's not in 3D. So let me just go to unlit mode. And now you can see we are having this stuff here. We are having Agra here, our Taj Mahal here, but it's basically a Terran data only, okay? Why? Because this 3D is not available in Google map. So if you are getting this 2D tiles, it means that 3D map data in Google is not available. Let's just create Grand Canyon. So let's just go here again. Now we are going to right click on our Grand Canyon. We are going to copy the location here. We are going to paste it here and we are just going to copy. Okay, let's just paste our latitude first and let's just paste our longitude next. Okay. And now you will see we are having this Grand Canyon here. Okay, so let's just go to lit mode. And now you can see if I go upwards, you can see we are having this Grand Canyon available here. Okay, now let's say you are liking certain angle here. Okay, let's just go for this. But you know that, okay, your quality is not that great. You can see we are getting some patches. Okay, because we are requesting certain stuff. So let's just quickly create a camera here. Okay. If you find then you can change the token also, but I don't prefer that. Basically it works great. Depends on your configuration and your internet connection. Okay. So let's just create our camera first. So let's just create a sign camera actor, cine camera actor. Sorry, it's cine camera actor. Let's just go to cine camera actor and then we are going to switch it to film here. Okay. Let's just go for a sensor width and height of maybe 2.63 to around something like this. So we get a cinematic look. Okay, let's just go for 2.5 here and let's just go for 1.35 here. Okay, now you can see it's looking something like this. Now let's add our own sun and sky which is provided by Unreal. But if you want to use this sun and sky, you can use that also. So basically you can change the latitude and longitude. You can change the role and pitch and you get this beautiful sunset effect and all that stuff. But I'm going to delete this. Okay. Just go to windows, then go to your environment light mixer here. Then just, just create all this stuff. Just create it. Okay. You will see it will take some time to tweak the result. Okay. So 
first of all you will see something like this but if i go to unlit you can see we are having this so it's because of exponential height fog i'm going to show you how you can correct that also so let's just turn this off and now you can see this is looking really beautiful okay let's just increase the resolution first so to increase the resolution of this you need to go to your geo reference here you will find a tab okay called uh, level detail okay so let's just search for detail here now you can see detail mode is low so you can go for high also okay then one more thing you need to change so you if you go to here tiles and if you search here okay you will find level of detail just open this and you need to decrease this maximum screen space error so let's just go for 10 you can go up to 1 also okay if this happens with you also you are getting this black patch or something like that it means that it's generating that data okay it takes some time some time to get the data okay sometimes if i lower the number or higher the number you can see if i lower it to 5 you can see now we are getting this really realistic data here okay it will take some time to generate this data depends totally on your system and your internet so if i tweak it to 15 here now you can see we are getting this data so if i fly through my camera something like this you can see we are generating this data right now okay so you need to play with this data here okay now let's just do one thing let's just press ctrl l here so we can change the lighting now you can see we can change the lighting here okay let's do something like this okay now this is looking nice but i want basically a really good effect of exponential height fog also but as soon as i do that you can see we are getting this so don't need to worry just click on your geo reference here and you just need to move it upwards so let's just get out of this okay and if i go here you can see it's here and just move it upwards and now you can see we are getting this beautiful effect and if i now go to my camera you can see this is effect we are getting okay now what you can do you can go to exponential height fog then you can play with your volumetric fog okay we are getting this then we can press ctrl l and now you can see we are getting this beautiful result see okay so this is how easy it is to tweak the settings here you if you want you can have the sunshine also or sunset also okay you can basically make the sun bigger also if you want so let's just take it to five and now you can see our sun is really big here okay now you want to change the exponential height fog color you can do that in fog in scattering color also so let me just tweak that also so let's just go to somewhere around here okay then if you want you can decrease the fog density also so now you can see we are getting this result okay if you want you can increase the volumetric fog also okay then you can add the post process volume so let's just do it quickly here okay then you can search for infinite here just turn on the infinite extent okay then just go to exposure just make sure that it is set to manual and as soon as you do that you will see something like this okay so don't worry you just need to increase your exposure compensation so let's just take it to around 2 maybe or 1.5 okay then what we can do we can go downwards we can turn on off the lens flare here or let's just have it to 0.5 and now you can see this is looking nice or let's just go for 0.2 then you can do the color grading so let's just increase the highlight contrast let's just decrease it okay so we get certain result that we want then we can increase the detail strength so you can play with the values and all that stuff and now you can see this is looking really beautiful so we can also increase the screen percentage also so let's just go it to 140 and now you can see we are getting this result and if you want you can create it with the help of Gaia and all that stuff but if you want some really good real world data you can do it easily and you can create some really good cinematic shots or let's say a plane is flying from here or a top view if you want you can do that also so this is how easy it is to create real world photorealistic 3D tiles from Google without any credit card you don't need any credit card so this is the updated method i am going to create some more videos on cesium plugin so stay tuned for that if you like my video please press that like button share it with your friends who wants to learn unreal engine and subscribe to my channel for more such videos see you guys next time bye bye